Hey YouTube, what's up? It's French Poodle OA and I'm back with another video. Sorry it's been a while, but I'm back now. Life has kind of kept me away from you guys, but now I am back. So you'll be seeing more of my videos on a consistent basis. But today we are going to talk about 2016 highlights so we are not going to focus on all of the negative things that happened in 2016 because there are so many of them so as we're going into 2017 let's just focus on the positive things that happened so for me the first positive thing that happened was that i got a chance to go back to benin west africa which is where i was born and it was such an amazing journey i got to spend about two weeks over there and it was absolutely amazing. Like, I love my time there and I cannot wait to go back. Uh, the second thing that happened was that I graduated with my MBA and I'm just so happy because it, it was always a goal of mine. And uh, initially when I was doing my bachelor's, I wanted to do like a five-year MBA program, but that didn't work out for me. But my goal was to still get my MBA, so... I decided to enroll back into school and I finished it. It was hard. The the teachers, the classes, everything was getting on my nerves at some point, but it's over. Thank you, Jesus. I'm done with that. So uh shout out to anybody who's in school right now because I know I know it gets hard sometimes, but you are going to make it through. Just keep your head up and keep doing keep doing what you're doing. So the next thing that happened to me and actually is still kind of in a process is that so I've been really putting a lot of energy into my blog lately and one thing that I wanted to do was to host a live event so I'm going to host my first event uh January 7th 2017 of course and it's going to be a vision board brunch and if you are in the DC area you can use the link down below to purchase your tickets, come out, have fun with me, and let's create some amazing vision boards so that our 2017 can be 10 times better than 2016 was. So, planning an event, I'm going to have to do a whole separate video on planning your first event because it's definitely been hard getting like sponsors, finding a venue, getting caterers, like all of that stuff. It's, it's it's a lot of work but it's definitely now that everything is coming together like it's definitely so worth it so I would definitely have to come back and do a full video on things to know do's and don't when you're planning your very first event so the next amazing thing that I want to highlight for my 2016 was I guess just my overall career so like, I've just been feeling like I've been more focused career-wise. I've been, you know, really reaching some goals that I've been, you know, that I've been having. And it's just been really amazing for me, like, career-wise. And I just finally feel like, for the first time, I feel like I'm on a steady track. I know where I'm going. Because for sometimes, like, when I graduated with my bachelor's, like, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I wasn't really particularly interested in anything. I really just wanted to just wake up every day with enough money in my bank account to do whatever I needed to do. I mean, that is still a goal of mine to hopefully wake up with just enough money to just not work. That's always going to be a goal of mine. But being realistic, I do still have to be career focused and figure out exactly what I wanted to do. So... I am now more focused in that area than I was before, so I'm so excited to see what 2017 is going to bring to me career-wise. And last but not least, of course, you know, I gotta throw, I gotta throw some, I gotta, you know, give a shout out to the big G-O-D up there. So, another highlight for me is, you know, with 2016, I definitely had some moments where it's like, I was just down and out. I wanted to give up on everything. I was just like, you know what, I'm throwing in the towel. Like, it's done, it's canceled, it's expired. But, Throughout all of my hard times this year, I have been able to rely on God to really like see me through it. I feel like I have a better relationship, a better understanding, and I just have a different outlook. So 
actually recently I've had an issue even as far as like trying to plan my event. I had an issue, things weren't going right, but I was able to just, you know, kind of just like pause for a second, not panic, and just kind of pray about it and then, you know, just let go and let God. Like I try my best not to hold on to problems anymore. Just deal with it as best as I can and just move on because there's no point to just keep holding on certain burdens that you don't that you don't even have to. Like it's really not that deep sometimes. So I'm definitely thankful that I'm leaving 2016 with a much closer relationship to God. And I don't mean to get all religious on y'all, but I had to throw it out there. But so as we are closing out the year, I'm so excited to be bringing you guys another giveaway. So I'm going to keep this really plain and simple without 10,000 rules for y'all to follow. So for the giveaway, I will be giving away two Forever 21 gift cards. So two $25 Forever 21 gift cards. They will be emailed out to you guys. So it is open to those that are not in the U.S. So it is open for all of my international babes out there. So all you have to do is to be subscribed to my channel. Just comment below three things that were amazing for you this year. So just highlight three things and it can be anything like anything seriously anything that is noteworthy to you drop it down in the comment section below and the contest you have until christmas day december 25th to um to enter this contest and the gift cards will be sent out on the day after christmas which is december 26th so good luck to all of you ladies out there and don't forget to like this video give me a nice big thumbs up and i will catch you guys in the next one deuces